Hello everyone, you are welcome to New Face Entertainment where you will get reliable and authentic news that will keep you informed and entertained. I say a very big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe and if you are here to subscribe, please click the red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon for notifications so you will always get alerted anytime we publish latest news or any of our other uploads. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to New Face Entertainment. Trump, US House confirms travel ban targeting Nigeria, others as Pelosi react. US United United States House of Representatives has condemned the decision of President Donald Trump to extend his administration's travel ban that will affect Nigeria and other countries. Trump signed the original travel ban on January 27, 2017, just a week into his tenure. The ban was upheld by the Supreme Court on June 26, 2018. If it affected Iran, Libya, Somalia, Syria, Yemen, Venezuela, and North Korea. For the new restrictions, countries on the list include Belarus, Myanmar, also known as Burma, Eritrea, Kyrgyzstan, Nigeria, Sudan, and Tanzania. On Monday, Democrats said that the House of Representatives will soon consider legislation that will repel the travel ban and limit the president from imposing future restrictions. Realtors report. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said the House will consider the No Ban Act, which would overturn the ban and prevent the President from establishing future restrictions unless the administration provides strong evidence to justify it in consultation with the Congress. House Democrats continue to stand opposed to President Trump's crime on American travel ban in all of its iteration. In the coming weeks, the House Judiciary Committee will mark up and bring to the floor the No Ban Act to prohibit religious discrimination in our immigration system and limit the President's ability to impose such bias and by restrictions, Belosi said in a statement. Democratic Senator Chris Coons, one of the authors of the No Ban Act, denounced what he called the intentional use of cruelty in the Trump administration's immigration policy and said the Muslim ban was based on prejudice, populism, and demo discrimination rather than fact or security consideration. Our whole effort in introducing this legislation and trying to move it forward is to say our Supreme Court got it wrong, Coons told reporters. Wow. <laughs> it's like all Supreme Court <laughs> always get it wrong. Just as um, the Supreme Court got it wrong here in Nigeria concerning the Imo State um, governors, governorship where they have to uh, uh, return Iodia uh, 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 and um, sack Uzo, uh, sorry, sack Iodia and return Uzodema to the governorship uh, position. Well, um, the only thing I, I think the uh, Nigerian government should be asking is if you have a travel ban I don't mean I don't understand what they mean by the travel ban. Is it for tourism? Is it for student visa? Is it for working visa? What is the band all about? We don't know yet. We just know travel ban. And travel ban from that word it could be just for tourism. If it is for tourism, no problem. There are so many other countries to go to without going to the US for tourism. So I don't see why people really bother about that. But if it goes beyond that, like 
immigration, they want to immigrate to uh, US, maybe you have citizens that are there that are fight for you, and so many other restrictions that are attached to it, I think that is where the big issue is. And to even take it to, to, to religious, to be biased about discrimination, populism, and to have prejudice, this it's not a welcome development at all. And um, we, I don't know, we need to be considering a lot of things. Nigerians, the school study are in the US and I think millions of dollars, if not up to billions of dollars that we go spend there just to go for education. So I think even their embassy in Nigeria, they have two embassies here in Nigeria, Lagos and um, Abuja. I think they should be thinking of closing down the embassies as well. <laughs> Don't you think so? And not just only that, for the politicians, are they going to close? Are they putting a restriction on the travel ban for the politicians? Because the politicians are the ones that are making us to want to go to places like America or any of this first world country. Because we have all that it takes to to make our country to be a first world nation, but nothing of that is being done. So are they going to ban our politicians because they are the ones that are putting everybody into this? Are they because if they don't ban the politicians, the politicians can stroll in, they can stroll out uh, as a diplomat and all that. Why the people that that, that are really uh, the masses, the ordinary um, citizens won't be able to travel to the US, but you don't restrict traveling to the US for politicians that are coming, bringing in money, stolen money to, to, to your country and all that, coming to lavish money in your country. You are not going to ban all that, all those people, I, I guess. Yes. So, mine is, if you're going to ban the uh, Nigeria and some other countries, all of these countries should rise up and say, well, come and close up your embassies. Close up your embassies. If you feel your embassy, uh, you, you, you want to place restriction on us, close your embassies and you go to back to your country and let's see who is going to lose. Let us stop finding ways to go to the country, going to back to the to to to, to 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 your country. Because if you know the immense consequences that you are trying to restrict Nigerians in your country. Do you know there are over one million Nigerians in your country and most there are so many positions is it in the health sector is it in the education sector that Nigerians are all over the place you know they are the top executive the top working people there they are making so much impact in your economy and yet you are still planning you are still bringing laws that will be restricting us for coming there let us tell you something some of the most of the people that you see there do you think how do you think they came there they traveled they were not given birth today they were not born in america because first the 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 the, the travel ban was appearing like oh it's going to stop um, um foreigners from coming to come and uh, pregnant women from coming to um, America to come and give birth in American soil and all that. That was what we were all thinking, like, okay. And even that is not even right because it is not in line with the Constitution of America. There should be a freedom to travel to anywhere, anywhere else to travel to America, be it you're pregnant or not. So somebody coming up with the um, restriction to restrict people, women, pregnant women, from coming into the American uh, soil to give birth there. And the, 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 the consequences is that if you give birth to a child in America, the child stands to become the, an American citizen. And that child can enjoy the privilege of an American citizen. So if you have restriction regarding that and um, 
you know, even that alone is not in line with the American Constitution. Not to talk of now, you are placing travel ban to America. Let's take, for example, those, those that are even traveling to America for medical uh, reasons, what is going to happen? We don't know what is going, how is going to, we know, we quite can guess what uh, is going to play in the embassy uh, where so much more people will be denied visa. And <laughs> the funny thing and, and the, 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 the struggle right from time has been that if, why do you collect the visa money when you know you're going to deny someone? And what does it take? What expense do you make for you to grant someone an interview? What expense is online? Go online, you fill the form, you pay to the bank, then you go face a consular um, officer and the consular officer within one or two, three minutes tells you, sorry, we can't issue you visa. You are not, you don't have a valid this, valid that, or so sorry, we can't issue you a visa. How, how much have you spent on that? How much? You spend that much <laughs> for just to tell somebody no? You should have known from the application. You should have known if this person is prone to collect the, to be given a visa. That's when you invite the person to come for a visa interview. Not when like you just take everybody, come, 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 apply, apply, collect the money. We know the millions of dollars that is going into these embassies. We know the millions of dollars that is going into your education. We know millions of dollars that is going into the medicals um, trip we know millions of dollars that is going into vacation people going into america we know millions of dollars that our leaders are stealing are transferring into your economy so all of this we it's not something if you really consider it and the freedom the human right freedom to travel to anywhere in the world provided you meet the basic requirement and what is the basic requirement so simple you are you are not you are not a miscreant you are not trying to become and become a nuisance there either you are coming for just a short stay or you're coming for a permanent residence that is what those are the basic thing that is required and if someone can meet it who says every nigerian that goes to america wants to remain in america who says it is not every nigerian that wants to that goes to america wants to remain in america i have friends that have gone there for 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 education they are back i have friends that have gone for short term um work a year six months and they are back with their family here in nigeria and even when they want to travel out permanently, they don't even go to Nigeria. We have so many other countries that they are going in. They don't even go to US, sorry. They have so many other countries that they are going into. So we should ask them, if you banned Nigeria and other countries from going, traveling to your country, why do you still have your embassy on our own soil? Please leave a comment in the comment section. And if you are yet to subscribe, Please do so, hit the red subscription button and the notification button. Thank you for watching. See you some other time. Stay blessed and God bless.